So once again, this is the men's varsity eight third level finals. So this should still shape up to be a pretty good race. I know the athletes that did start rowing, there's likely some jitters. You already started the race once, now you have to go back, try again. So not ideal what you want to see at a championship regatta, but sometimes it's just what has to be done to preserve the safety of all of the athletes on the water. So it does look like everybody is now back onto their stake boats. And the U.S. rowing official on the abutment is working on alignment. As these coxswains work diligently to maintain a safe point so we can have a start to this race. So it's much easier to maintain a point while you are in the process of rowing because you can adjust your steering with the rudder and also with your rowers. When you're stationary, it becomes a little harder to anticipate the wind and you're fixed at one point, so you can only adjust where your bow ball is pointed. But it looks like we do have an official start to this men's varsity eight third level final. So all five boats out from under the bridge. They've crossed that first 10 meter red buoyed breakage zone. And it does look like your early leader might actually be Colby College over in lane two by just a hair over the rest of the field. The RIT and Adrian College close behind. And it looks like Skidmore and Conn College are pretty evenly matched here as well. So a great first part of the third level men's varsity eight final. And as we progress down, it is looking like we'll see some separation between lanes one, two, and three from lanes four and five. So it looks like we're gonna have two groups kind of shake out here, at least in this first 500 meters. But your early leader is Kobe College by maybe a bow ball over Adrian College. So Kobe College starting to push their bow ball out ever so slightly more. RIT is down by about a deck on Kobe. So those three crews very well matched here. And it is Skidmore with about a deck lead over Con College as we pass this over to Dave on the water to take you down this middle thousand. Dave, take it away. So they are pretty much in the order across Colby, just at 500. It's taken over a one seat lead over Adrian College. Another seat back to RIT. So that's a three boat race spreading out behind them. Skidmore trail with uh, by a length and Con College another length behind them. This is the third level final for the men's varsity eights. A really tight third three boat event uh, at the front at least. They've opened up water on the other uh, two boats in this race. And they're really going at it uh, back and forth for first place. Adrian College now back in the lead again. Colby in second. RIT in third, but RIT's putting on a big push to try to make up some ground there. It's Adrian College at, with good momentum now in the second 500. They've got a four seat lead over Colby. Colby has two seats over RIT. And those three are open water up on the rest of the field. Getting a little choppy in the middle of the course. As we approach the thousand, Adrian College at the thousand has a full three quarters of a length now. They've really shot out on Colby. Colby a half a boat length up on RIT. This is the kind of wind where it may be a little bit uh, more protected over in lane one, maybe a little bit smoother. It's just slightly choppy over here on the lane six side of the course. Adrian College now with an open water lead over Colby. Colby ch being seriously challenged by RIT, who's just poking their bow in front of Colby. As the boats surge, it's RIT just getting the better of the Colby crew on uh, general boat speed at their base rate.
Adrian starting to show a little bit of the wear and tear of the first uh, 1,200 meters. Just a little bit of break in their rhythm. It remains to be seen whether they can sustain this kind of a lead. They looked really sharp early. They took a big move in the second 500 to just start getting away. And now with both RIT and Colby exchanging the lead, uh, those two may be kind of starting to come back a little bit on Adrian College crew. They're at 500 with Adrian with an open water lead over Colby. Colby a foot ahead of RIT. The others trail and will send this to the finish line for the call from Katie Lane, Don Richardson down at the finish area. Make a good charge, just like they have through the first half of the race. We've got Colby College about a length back off the pace, followed by Skidmore and Conn College, but it does look like to be Adrian College maintaining their lead with about three seats over the crew from RIT. Adrian College here in the yellow shirts, doing a really nice job prepping into the sprint. Coxon has started to call their sequence. Stroke looks a little bit shorter here to try and bring the rate up pretty easily. We've got Colby College looking to make a charge and challenge the crew from RIT in lane three. This is the third level final of a very competitive category here at the NIRC. This is the men's varsity eight third level final. And it does look like Adrian has taken another move to try and extend that distance, extend that lead over the crews from Colby and RIT. Now having open water on both crews, it should be smooth sailing for Adrian College coming into the finish. But Colby College, really good sprint to walk up close to about two thirds of a length on RIT. They've now put their bow ball in front of RIT, challenging that finish order. Adrian College across the line first, unofficially in the men's third level final, Varsity 8, followed by the crew from Colby out of Maine and RIT. Approaching the line now is Skidmore College out there in lane four with the green unis. Well Road Skidmore. And entering their last about 12 strokes here, it's gonna be at the boat from Conn College. Smooth here, good handle release coming out of the finish. Well Road Conn College. That'll be the third level final of the men's varsity eight, unofficially. We'll head back up to the start for a third level final for the women's varsity eight. 